Hi. Today I'm going to show you how to fill out this fill in the blank fingering chart for the alto saxophone. This is unit A. And if you are doing this digitally, you're going to just follow along and do what I show you to do. If you are doing this as a paper and pencil assignment, then you will simply write on the lines where here we have text boxes and you will color in the shapes that are necessary to make that sound on your saxophone. So we're going to start with our first example. The note is on the second line of the treble clef and that is a G. Now let me show you what the shapes mean for your fingering chart. So this teardrop shape here is the octave key on the back of your saxophone. So um, you will not be using that until you are playing the fourth line D. But that teardrop is the octave key. The three circles right here represent the top three notes, or the top three keys on the saxophone. One, two, three. So whichever combination of those that you need to press, you will color those in. So for the G, I do have to press the first, second, and third key. Next, this half circle shape represents the, the pinky keys that are available here, it represents this top one. You will not be using that at all on this worksheet. Next, under this line, this is the dividing point between what you do with your left hand and what you do with your right hand, these three circles represent the bottom three keys, one, two, three. And then these squares on the side represent your three side keys, top, middle, and bottom. So for the G, I have just the top three circles filled in and that's all I need. Next, for number two, when we um, go up in the alphabet and we hit G, we start over again on A. Plus, the second space in the treble clef is an A. And with A, it's just like G, but we lift one finger, so we just press down one and two. So I'm going to color those in. If you're doing this on paper and you're using a pencil, just make sure you color in the shape completely and not just like exit or anything like that. For number three, the third line is the B line and it's just the first finger. So we're just lifting one finger at a time. I'll put my B here and then I will color in the top circle. Now going alphabetically, the next one is a C. C comes after B and that's the name of the note in the third space. And here's where things get a little bit different. So far we've had G, A, B. Now C is just the middle finger on the second key. So that's the one that I will color in. There we go. And then finally the fourth line of the treble clef is a D. That's what comes after C. And this one is going to use the octave key in the back, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and color all of those in. I'm going to start here with my teardrop. That's my octave key. One, two, three with the left hand. And then one, two, three with the right hand. And that's just to get you started. Everything else on this sheet is using the same five notes, just in a different order. So I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you next time.